The impact of the Voyager probes on space research has been truly revolutionary, reshaping how we look at the stars and galaxies. Even after more than 45 years, these mechanical explorers keep flying through the vast darkness of interstellar space. Despite having very limited memory and slow data speeds, they become legendary for their persistence in space's frozen wilderness. Both probes, launched back in 1977, have journeyed far past the edge of the solar system into mysterious cosmic territories. They have given us priceless knowledge, transmitting data from a realm where light becomes a distant glow. Voyager 1, the more distant of the two, recently sent back data that baffled scientists at NASA's ground control. These signals seemed inconsistent, not aligning with what its control systems are programmed to detect. It created a major challenge, putting parts of its continued mission into possible jeopardy. Launched on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 lifted off from Cape Canaveral, breaking through Earth's atmosphere aboard a Titan III East Centaur rocket. Just 13 days earlier, Voyager 2 had also launched, taking its own path toward the outer planetary horizon. Their original job was to study Jupiter and Saturn's moons and rings in beautiful cosmic landscapes. But they did far more. Voyager 1 and 2 went beyond, reaching unexplored depths of the Milky Way's outer zones. They've flown farther than any human-made object, crossing into a void unknown to science. Along the way, they captured fantastic discoveries like volcanic surfaces and icy moons orbiting giant planets. Voyager 2 achieved incredible milestones, including the first close pass of Uranus in 1986 under Neptune's distant shadow. By 1989, it became the only probe to closely approach Neptune, photographing its blue swirling atmosphere. It also visited Triton, discovering windy storms and icy volcanoes erupting from that frozen crust. Voyager 2 even scanned Uranus's moons, which had never been seen in such clarity. These missions gave us the first detailed images of those distant worlds, now visible through data and visuals. To extend their lifespan, NASA shut down non-essential systems, conserving energy in the frozen dark of space. By switching off heaters and other parts, Voyager 2 can likely keep going through the next decade of cosmic silence. Even though the mission is set to end in 2030, clever planning could push that timeline into a new era. This means data will continue to flow from deep space regions, offering insight into stellar boundaries. The end of this journey will be bittersweet, closing a chapter in space history that spanned nearly half a century. Thanks to tireless dedication, the team behind Voyager helped rewrite our understanding of the entire solar stage. Their work has gifted scientists and students with knowledge that will stretch into the next century of space exploration. They explored and mapped the wonders of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and their distant companions. One of the earliest surprises was Europa's icy crust hiding a possible ocean beneath its glacial surface. Io, another moon of Jupiter, was revealed to be an active volcanic world full of fiery eruptions. Previously thought to be lifeless spheres, these moons now glowed with unseen energy and changing activity. Jupiter's thin rings, once overlooked, turned out to be intricate and dynamic, encircling the giant in colorful bands. Voyager 2's descent into the outer solar system opened a door into unknown planetary kingdoms. It found ten new moons orbiting Uranus and identified their rocky surfaces and stormy environments. On Neptune, it captured the powerful winds that sweep across its icy plains at over 1,000 miles per hour. Its largest moon, Triton, proved to be one of the coldest spots in the entire solar system. Triton's volcanoes didn't emit lava, but frozen particles and nitrogen gas sprayed into the air. Voyager 1 came close to Titan, Saturn's mysterious moon covered in a glowing orange atmosphere. Each encounter raised questions, challenging what scientists knew about distant planetary behavior. Their speed through space didn't ruin their accuracy, even from months away, they returned clear images. Through Jupiter's stormy clouds, the Voyagers revealed red spots and massive swirling weather systems. One of the most important discoveries was that Io had active volcanoes, bursting through its cracked surface. That made Io the most volcanically active object known, far more dynamic than Earth's mountains. This forced scientists to rethink the behavior of outer moons and what lies below their frozen crusts. 
Europa, for example, might hold an ocean beneath its shell, possibly capable of harboring life in its deep waters. Similarly, Enceladus, a Saturnian moon, showed geysers, meaning water might flow beneath its icy skin. These clues stirred new missions, some aimed at probing the possibilities of extraterrestrial life in distant environments. Voyager 2 helped discover Miranda, a moon of Uranus with fascinating geological features and a twisted terrain. Its scans revealed Uranus's bizarre magnetic field and patterns that weren't seen on earlier planetary stages. By the time it passed Neptune in 1989, Voyager 2 sent us dazzling images of its swirling blue atmosphere. There, scientists noticed the Great Dark Spot, a massive storm similar to Jupiter's red cyclone. It also confirmed that Neptune has rings, thinner than Saturn's but clearly circling in a graceful arc. It found six new moons, adding to the catalog of planetary companions orbiting the farthest giant. Even as they left the planets behind, the Voyagers kept collecting data about the heliosphere and solar wind. Crossing the heliopause, the final edge of the sun's influence, they entered interstellar space. There, they detected higher levels of cosmic rays, puzzling scientists and reshaping theories of the void between stars. Despite the icy emptiness, the Voyager spacecraft keep teaching us about the invisible mechanisms of space. Their tough builds and innovative design continue to amaze engineers working in climate-controlled labs. With help from the Deep Space Network, signals from these probes still reach Earth after billions of miles. The success of these missions shows the genius and effort of the teams who worked through space's toughest conditions. Though old by today's standards, their tools were once cutting edge, made to survive Deep Space's frost. They've not only survived, they've made discoveries that changed textbooks and global understanding. They also proved that robotic exploration can go where humans cannot, into the unknown and far beyond the sun's final ray. The launch of these twin spacecraft in 1977 marked the start of something much bigger than expected. Their original goal was just to visit Jupiter and Saturn's neighborhoods, but they've gone far beyond their limits. Today, they float in a dark, endless wilderness, recording whispers from stars and ancient particles. Their nuclear power source, once thought to last only a few years, continues to drive their frozen circuits. Each message they send back is a small victory against distance, entropy, and time itself. On board both Voyager probes are the golden records, designed to communicate with possible alien life. These include sounds of Earth, greetings in many languages, and images of nature, humans, and culture. These disks are now sailing through the stars as a time capsule from our blue planet. If found by any intelligent beings, they carry a piece of our story told through voice, music, and vision. Their presence reminds us that space exploration is more than science, it's a form of communication with the cosmos. They've become symbols, inspiring new generations of missions like the James Webb Telescope and Europa Clipper. Projects now in motion rely on the path these probes carved through the galactic frontier. The Voyagers proved that even the most distant goals can be reached with creativity and hard work. Even today, their low power signals are picked up from the black silence of interstellar night. They inspire dreams of future journeys, perhaps one day to nearby exoplanets or undiscovered stars. From liftoff to today, the Voyager story is one of persistence, exploration, and hope. If humanity ever leaves Earth, it will be partly because of what these spacecraft showed us. They are silent now, drifting where no map can guide, through a lonely, glowing tunnel of stars. Still, they speak to us, one transmission at a time, across light years of silent space. Their data, images, and presence will remain part of science and history, teaching us what it means to reach beyond our home. They weren't expected to last this long, yet they've powered through the vast, frozen darkness of space. The twin spacecraft defied early predictions, withstanding cosmic radiation, micrometeorites, and mechanical wear. Their resilience has made them symbols of human endurance and curiosity across galaxies of stars. Even with power levels now dropping to a trickle, the Voyagers squeeze out valuable bites of space intel. These final transmissions carry whispers of plasma movements and cosmic rays through a distant nebula. The farther they travel, the more they reveal about deep space's structure and invisible energies. Scientists still analyze every signal, 
waiting for some subtle clue hidden in the noise of infinity. They gather cosmic whispers from a cold, empty canvas, building new theories about our origins. Their sensors pick up fields and waves far beyond the orbit of Neptune's icy horizon. Instruments measure how the sun's influence fades beyond the solar wind's edge, showing the actual shape of our bubble. Voyager 1 crossed this barrier first, drifting into the unknown at the galaxy's doorstep in 2012. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, entering a region filled with unseen forces and intense vibrations. This interstellar space isn't empty, it's rich with energy, movement, and secrets from faraway systems. From both spacecraft, the data continues to pour in, shaping our maps of the Milky Way. Even dying stars leave echoes, caught in these tiny metal probes moving through eternity's dust. Though power is low and systems fading, their messages still light up the monitors of NASA's antenna rays. Each time a faint ping is received, it marks a miracle, a triumph of distance and technology. The antennas that catch these signals must be perfectly calibrated to track such faint pulses. Operators work with patience, scanning billions of square miles of sky for signs of these floating ghosts. These signals then become graphs and images that change our understanding of space physics. The voyagers, in silence, continue to be teachers in the classroom of the cosmos. Without them, we wouldn't know the true boundary of the sun's influence, nor what lies beyond its final light. Even if they are never found, their journey tells our own story, that we tried to connect with the universe. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.